Well, welcome back people uh, through the steering wheel of the Model 3 with my ugly mush. Um, back today to do the next post. Now this one is going to be 100% about the accessories and add-ons that I personally have put on to this Model 3. Now a lot of these will do Model Y as well, obviously you know that, some won't. And I hope you enjoy it, there's lots and bits of bobs I'm going to show you. So here we go, accessories, add-ons for the Model 3. Okay, these extras, these add-ons, these accessories have all been put on since I had the vehicle. I don't really think, if I can remember right, there was anything already on this when I got it that was extra, apart from some red calipers, which I have mentioned before on this channel. I took them off around a year into ownership because they had gone very, very de degraded and, and all the red paint had come off them. So they had to come off and now I'll show you what I put on the calipers in just a moment. But the first thing I'm going to mention on this post is the rear screen. These retail at around anything from 185 to around 215. Highly available from eBay or I, I do believe even Amazon may have one or two on there. Now there is a Mark 1 and a Mark 2 and there's a better one and all the rest of it. I picked the hand show one because it, it's, it's proved itself. It's been out about two years now or more, and most of the people that I've seen actually install it have still got it installed and it still works. So I thought I'm gonna buy something that I know will do the job. I bought this very, very cheaply used, stroke second hand. The guy I bought it from on eBay, I feel had put it in the wrong category and had a bit of the, a, a wrong description. So it didn't get many bids, in fact, I was the only one who bid on it, and I'll tell you how much I paid for it in just a moment. So, here it is. This is the Hanshow rear screen. Now, as you can see, it fits pretty damn good. There is not really anything I can call it for. It was quite easy to fit in. Um, you just had to take out the bottom base here underneath and clip the original fascia off, and then pop this one on, and there was only two connecting wires to do underneath here, which were very, very straightforward. I kind of made a boo-boo where I actually deleted a lot of the apps. Mm -mm, don't do that, folks. Luckily, and I'll come across this in a moment, I'll show you how I got it done. Now, as you can imagine, my Mandarin is not great. So the Chinese manufacturers here did a brilliant job of telling me how to put the apps back on. Once USB installed and rebooted, they all came back on. A big thanks to Hansho. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this, but if I tell you I only paid 85 smackaroos for this, £85 delivered, there you can see I got a bargain. For saying you could pay up to 215 for these things. Now, they are, you know, quite touchy feely it's all good everything works well as you can see there and also the movement of the seat one that's on here you're allowed to make this seat go forward and backwards if you want to put the wiring in i didn't bother because i didn't want anyone at the back here messing about with my seat so i didn't put that wiring in it's something i've still got that's where you put your apps on there they all are you know you can play uh, youtube and the volume for this as well will come through your normal natural speakers if you you know bluetooth it correctly and use wi-fi all the settings like it says look connect your, your internet so if you just do that bring it down and there's your wi-fi settings and everything to go push it back up let it do its thing that is the rear screen took me around 20 minutes to put in no more than that that's a great one as a first option for any model 3 get the screen well worth it my grandkids oh, i don't get in here very often but they love it because they watch youtube as i'm going along and obviously on the big screen you can't do that on this it will play as you're going along and again you can control your music control the the airflow you can put the aircon on you can control the heating and everything else from the back so that's hand show screen and it cost me an, a diddly 85 pound Okay, I'm going to move into the front now because um, there is one other thing in the back. Let me just point it out. I have pointed this out before, only because I've been asked about it. Now, it's, it, it's a standard, you know, HD dash cam, but I put it in because it gives me that bit of extra security when I've got fools up my bum uh, trying to race a Tesla 
like a lot of BMW and Audi diesel drivers do, and it gets boring, but hey, that's why. Anyway, let's, let's move on to proper accessories. I'm going in the front now. Okay, next thing. I'm gonna keep with the screens because these are the big pieces of the accessories. I've already done a very small video post for this on a short on YouTube, you may have seen it. It was a bit of a bitch to get in because of this cowling at the top, uh, no other reason. I made a boo-boo by not putting this back on before I reinstalled this and anyway, it was a bit of a nightmare. So this little screen here, now, I hope you can see this clear enough, off the toggle here, it will allow you to change it. From that one, to there's another theme as well you can have, but these are the two screens you can pick from. One is a smaller thing here with the speed on and some other bits and bobs and what gear you're in and what your mileage is to go and whatever. Uh, and obviously you've got the electricity you've got left in the battery there. And then you've got the normal sat nav, or you can change it to that one, which again, is, gives you how much you know, you're know regen in, how much you're using, again, how much battery you've got left. Just another screen. You can change this to a red or a black or a white car. I've got a red car on there. I didn't like the black one, although I drive a black Tesla. And I say that because it kind of lost itself in the graphics. Uh, all these work at the top here. I hope you can see them. Uh, basically, it tells you when you're flashing your lights and when you've got your turn signals on, etc., etc. If I can just do that. If you can see that flash in there. Now, it, has, it doesn't have any effect on what happens here. It's just a direct conversation between that and that, and it's one way. So whatever happens on that will happen on this. It does not affect warranty because you're not actually changing anything. You are just adding something in line for the information that's given to that, it's now given to that. That screen there did not um, cost me as much as other people are asking. I kind of like waited until there was a bit of an offer on eBay where you got eight or 14 pound off. It was direct from China. With the import duty and VAT, which they charge you at base now, it was 144 pound and that was delivered. Now, a lot of people don't like to change into this kind of screen because they think it's not a Tesla anymore. It should only be on that one screen. Well, to be honest, I feel it gives you something else. I, I really do like it and I prefer it and I wish Tesla would have done something like this or maybe even a heads up display. So it's here now folks. It's, it's installed as you can see and it installs pretty neatly and you know it matches everything so there's nothing real to gag about and of course it does not block your air vents which is an excellent thing to happen because some of these things go here and they block your air vents so don't buy any of those because they can get very hot it has got built-in speakers i hope you can see that around the back there I don't know if you can or not they're not great but you can use them if you don't want to use the bluetooth the audio isn't brilliant but it has got built-in speakers and they do actually work so keeping with it installation time if i hadn't made the boo-boo of putting this <laughs> back on or trying to get that back on after i did that and i would say you could probably do it in an hour so that's the screen, £144 delivered, all taxes paid, all VAT paid. So great thing. I'm very happy that I've done that. And I think it does give it the extra bit. Okay, we have done with the screen. Let's move on to something very near the screen. And that is this set here on the steering wheel. Some of you are not going to like this. Some of you are going to think it's great. I had a guy looking in the Tesla yesterday and he said, wow, I love all that carbon finish. Is that factory? He wasn't a Tesla owner. And I said, no, um, it is not. It's uh, quite cheap aftermarket, but hey, I like it. I was getting a bit bored with the blandness of the interior. And I, I mean that in a nice way, but it's all black and dark gray. And I thought I want to do something a bit different. So let me tell you about this set here. You get the three pieces. And they do fit exceptionally well. And they are very, very well finished. Now, you can get them in this shiny or you can get them in the more dull effect. And as you can see, they finish very, very well here and here. And they all blend in perfectly. Now, that was a three-piece kit. The three pieces were as one kit. Now, if some of you have watched my videos before, you will notice that I have used Timu a lot just lately. And in fact, I've got two videos on the channel when I ordered stuff from Timu, these have come from Timu as a set. Very, very cheap. Um, so if you want to save a bit of money and you also want some Tesla bits aftermarket, just check out Timu first because that three-piece kit that I've just shown you there on the steering wheel, 
that is around 20 odd pounds sometimes on eBay or sometimes a little cheaper. I believe, if I remember rightly, I paid 11 quid for the three pieces from Timu. I have seen them at 9.99. So yeah, very, very happy with that. And they only took about 10 days to come. So that ain't bad. Now I'm gonna bring you back to the steering wheel and show you something else. You'll see here now, there is also this one. This middle piece I have only just put on and I was dubious if I liked it or not, you know. I thought, are these three enough and whatever, but this big chrome T stuck out here and it, it just didn't look right. So that one, the front and the rear. The front I have not put on yet. Rear's on, that's on now, literally a week ago. Front to go on. Still not too sure about the very front one on the on that. We'll have a look at it and you can tell me what you think. Some people don't like this, I know, some people do. So that's those, we'll move on again. Now I know what you're thinking. Has he gone carbon fiber mad? Or it isn't carbon fiber, it's plastic. Some are real carbon fiber, you know. You can buy some of this that is real stuff um, and it looks a tiny bit different, but I wanted it to all match. So one more item of that kind of um, finish and you've obviously seen them already if you're sharp with the eyes. These two here, that one and that one. Now, before I just, Remember, these stick on with little stickers. You take them off the back, peel them back, put them on. I've only got the top and the bottom one on here. So if I ever want to take them off, they'll come off very easy. Same as this. This comes with stickers all the way around it. I've only got the top and the bottom actually off. So they will come off very easy if I want them to. This here and that one there are only snap-on. There's no stickers on them. They just snap on. And in my opinion, again, they fit bloody great. I mean, I... I've had years and years of car accessories and I've been well pleased with some of this Chinese stuff because it does fit exceptionally well. So that now, if you can see it all together in one, that is now how I look forward and drive. Some of you are going, ah, what a fool, you should never mess with it. Others are going, yeah, great, I agree. But that's it and that was the cost. So yeah, all very happy with the front of the steering wheel and onward through the dash because of that. Great stuff. Okay, keeping with the interior, this baby here. Now, this illuminates and gets its power from inside here. So you just move this tray. See what I mean? So you get two going down. They're the two original USB-Cs. Comes up, feeds this. This can go either way. It gets trapped, obviously, when you shut that. So that's that baby there. I've had this a while, actually. I think I've shown it uh, before on the channel. It's made by Top Fit, and it does fit very, very well. Uh, there are some out there that are not so nice. There's one out now which actually has got, uh, you can change color on it, and it says Tesla in the middle. This I paid about 16 pound for. Again, delivered, not from Timu, but I believe it was from uh, Amazon on this one. As soon as you attach one of these, that lights up. There you go, you can see that now, can't you? Now, I've got out of the car quite a few times <laughs> and left that in for, you know, a day a full day come back and it's 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 used nothing it's a tiny led light um which looks very nice in the dark i must admit um <laughs> it kind of brightens this whole area that is something else that i thought was very good because then it brings a few more of these to the front a data one and a power one and two usb c chargers so yeah let's move on again okay i'm going to stick with the interior carpet covers inlays trays brilliant these are very very thick rubber Kept those carpets super clean like new. Full grip at the back of them. They just pop straight in and they are fully molded to the floor. And they are brilliant. I've had some real dirt in here on these shoes, especially on the driver's side. And they just pop them out and they clean up dead easy with a, a bit of a sponge down back in. That came as a set. One front there. You can see that one where my sketch of feet are. <laughs> one there, okay, which again, you know, it's all molded. Then, if I can just spin it round here. You have the rear one, which goes all the way across the rear floor. And again, molds in underneath the seats, etc. Comes out dead easy and has saved no end of muck. So that's the three piece kit for the floor overlays and carpets, uh, matting, I guess you'd call it, that I'm really glad I bought because it's kept these carpets like new. Uh, and again, if you were sharp eyed, you'd, you'd have seen something along the bottom of the sills. I'll show you them now, but down here, these, again, carbon fiber effect. This is the duller carbon fiber. I couldn't get these in the shiny. It says Model 3 on it. Look, look at all the 
kick marks it saved my plastics and they just literally you take this off here very easy take the sticky off one side sticky off another pop them down where you go and they go in straight in from side to side and i've got the back ones which are fully molded as well which hopefully you can see along here as you can see i got them from amazon 89.99 and still available from there excuse my voice i've got a real bad chest and my voice is going so i'm trying to get as much as this done before i lose my voice because it sounds i'm going that way this is something that everybody should i mean tesla should have fitted these standard come on very simple plastic tray slides on either side i have mentioned it before uh, on a, a video i did with accessories many moons ago it's a doddle but it's great because when it's out of the way you've got full access but i yeah i'd be lost to death without that now um so yeah plastic tray and then in here there is this plastic one here which goes into this inset and again that folds down look and what have i got there two of my cards I think it's Shell and Instavolt. Yeah, it took it away in there. So that's as simple as that. But it just takes up that void and it literally just pops straight in with, with two red stickers here. So nothing expensive, but a little add-on, which again, I don't know why Tesla didn't try and do something and put them in from new. Would have made sense. Anyway, that's them two covered. Pop that down. One more on the interior, which I've just remembered, which you've obviously seen. Let me take this out now rubber inserts for the cup holders kids now again keep the mess out if you do if you get spillages you can take them straight out wipe them clean you've even got a little secret there for a few coins and again these they're about five to eight quid depending on where you buy them from some fit good some fit don't can't remember the brand of this but this does fit rather well so again another little add-on that i've done on the interior I'm i there, there now i'm pretty sure i am Okay, really sorry people if the wind noise is heavy here. I would imagine it is, it is belting it with wind. Um, and my mic, my DJI mic has just gone down on me. So just to let you see what I've done with the calipers. I have white Tesla stickers here, look, which are still perfect. They've been on there now, wow, four months, five months through the winter. One right at the top there as well, look. When I took the red caliper covers off, obviously these were like new and they still are, you know, because they were covered protected so that's the front on both sides Tesla let's go around this side so we get a better view yeah a bit better there you go Tesla letter sets put them on they've been on all winter and they still look really good so well pleased about that nice and bright white so yeah that's what I did when I took the old red covers off okay while I'm here now again excuse the wind this is the trunk cover I bought this is a brilliant piece of kit. Possibly one of the best things I bought. Fully molded, yeah, really good. Very strong, very robust. Goes all the way to the back, tucks in that bottom space there and is super easy to clean. All comes out, all in one section. Very easy, and look at that. It looks like new underneath. <laughs> so yeah, buy one. If you've got a Model 3, buy this. And even got a gap here, look, so you can still get to the... There you go. So, yeah, that's the trunk cover. Buy one. One of your better investments. Definitely. This is definitely something you don't want to buy. Now, if you live in a country there where your Tesla is left and drive, you probably won't have a problem with this. But don't buy it for the UK market highland or whatever or even japan because this will not fit and i've got one out of the box now which is here so let me just explain what this is this has this sticky on the back which really i wouldn't use anyway that is meant to go over your wood paneling effect or carbon effect or whatever you've got on either side or definitely one side of your tesla dash that then is a cup holder let me go and show you one in the car you'll know exactly what i'm talking about this thing here is meant to go over there, okay, at the end. So I, I ordered two, okay, not knowing that they were left-hand and right-handed. Well, I thought I'd get a pair, one for there and one for me here. That, it, that those grooves there go into there and then you push that down and it fits over that plastic. Right, for, straight away, can you see what's wrong with that? It's the wrong angle for this side. 
So I thought, all right, I'll just have to have the one on then and it will have to be over there. So I tried it. Well, by the time you put this on, okay, and then you've got your, your cup holder attached to it, it blocks off your glove box. So one, you can't use it on that side, although it fits because of the glove box not opening and shutting. And this one here, well, complete joke. You might as well forget it. You cannot have a pair. So do not buy these, okay? If you see them on eBay or anywhere, the, the concept and the idea is great. So you can have an extra cup holder either, either side. They're quite, you know, easily accessible. It would be here, which is great, rather than here, blocking off and knocking it off and everything else. But don't buy them. These luckily were only, I think I paid 6 25 a piece for them. I've got two of these now. So if anyone wants one and they see me at a show, I'll have them in the trunk. And if, and if you want to take one away with you, I will gladly give you one. So don't buy these. Okay, next thing up is these here. I bought a pair of used off Amazon. These are the ones there. I paid £10.50 for the full set. Problem is, again, they only fit left and drive vehicles. I did leave a review to tell everybody, as you can see there. So don't buy them. Stay away from them. They only fit left and drive vehicles. You'll be sending them back. Hope that helps. Okay, back outside now. Um, the wind has dropped to only a small, tiny bit of a breeze. So, time to come out and show you these. I'm back to the carbon fiber effect, I know. But, in my opinion, hello, see you on the shine. Um, my opinion, these do look very, very good. Again, there's gonna be some out of here saying, whoa, tacky or rubbish, Chinese garbage. Why did you put it on, it looks rubbish. I'm not bothered, I'm not bothered. I like them and they're staying on. A pair of these went straight on with the little red stickies. I only used one sticky in case I want to take it off easy. Again, they were from Timu on Spech. So I don't, I believe I paid about seven quid for the pair, eight quid for the pair, no more than that, definitely. So yeah, both sides, obviously. And there you go. So they are staying on. So I've only got one more thing to show you. And I can't do that until it gets dark. Okay, one but last here. This was so easy to do and very cheap. And I've seen people behind me take pictures on their mobile phones of this when they see my brake light come on. And it just reads 1%. It's as simple as that. But it's super bright, uh, even during the day. So yeah, very easy to do. Just slide it down. It's job done. That came from my Timu video and post. Take a look. Okay, as you can see, it's not quite fully dark yet. Pretty much nowhere near. Just dusk, I would say. My solar's just come on. But the last and final one, I thought I'd just show you this. Hopefully it'll show up, although it's not dark enough. And you can just see it there. Puddle lights, as they call them. Not very dark, because they, like I say, my lights have come on. Let's just, uh, see if this one makes any difference. There you go quite uh, sharp within that year not one of them's packed up or give me any problems as you can see and that should be on all four doors I've not uh, had a look around here for a while so let's just see if everything still works yeah and there you go puddle lights Tesla and there you can see the rear screen on there now how bright it is So that's it for the accessories, the add-ons and everything else on the Tesla Model 3. Oh, another light just come on, hello. So yeah, we're gonna wrap this one up now, call it a day. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it's gonna be useful to anyone who wants to or is thinking of buying a, a Model 3. Keep with the channel, please subscribe. If you're first time here, where you've been, say it all the time. And we'll catch you again, bye for now.